So on graduation day in 2008, uh, I was kind of sunburnt because I'd ridden my bike from Peterborough to Edinburgh and I was... <sighs> It was quite a flat experience, I'll be honest with you. And it, was, uh, it wasn't it was great. I got a 2-2, which means uh, bottom half of second class. So uh, not even average degree. Really quite a poor degree, to be honest. It was It's an MA, so it's, a, it's all right. It's a good degree in that kind of respect. It's a high level degree. It's architectural design. And really, the thing I got from my degree was transferable skills. You know, the ability to produce work was incredible from architecture. I could work hard. Architecture teaches you to work hard. It teaches you to communicate visually, it teaches you to handle a whole array of different skills. It's a really disciplined subject and that has been a massive benefit for me for my whole career, my whole life. But I kind of realized at that point that I wasn't going to be an architect and there was a global recession. Uh, it was 2008, it was, uh, you know, there wasn't any building going on so it was very hard to find work in architecture and architecture is incredibly competitive. So I wasn't really going to find that work with my degree. And I kind of knew it wasn't going to be for me in any case. And um, honestly, what happened was uh, my mum worked at a school and she said, we haven't got a physics teacher. Do you want to come and give it a go? And so I did. And I've never looked back. Uh, honestly, though, I, when she first said that, I laughed at her. <laughs> I said, can't be a teacher. Don't be ridiculous. And then I thought about it and I was working in bars and things like that. And I thought, no, do you know what? I do want a professional career. I do want to use my degree for something and with the engineering credits that you have from architecture I was able to teach A-level physics and, and straight away I was massively passionate about doing that and I really loved the first classes that I met, I loved working with the kids and I was pretty good at it. And then gradually you recognise all the different things you can offer and you try and show you can work hard, you show you can be a success and you climb ladders and you reach different points that you didn't think you'd ever be interested in or you even knew about before. And that's the way it works. Hard work will always beat out qualifications. Get into a place of work and you show those people what you can do and you'll be absolutely fine. So my educational journey i hope that's been helpful giving you some insight i haven't got any answers of how to make those choices as you go but my advice is to keep doors open keep learning how to learn and make sure that you can show you can work hard and you'll be a massive success thanks a lot for watching gorilla physics let me know in the comments if you've got any further questions i'd really like to hear your ideas for videos um, because it does give me ideas and gives me excuse to ramble on like this and see if it makes good content all right thanks very much for watching